Hey everyone, this is Just a Tech and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I will show you how you can jailbreak the latest iOS 16.2 on all the devices that support the Checkmate exploit. That means the devices that having the A11 chipset and down are supported with this method. The Bell Rain jailbreak now has been updated and support for the latest iOS 16 to the 16.2 down to the iOS 15. If you remember, I have already made the video on the Bell Rain jailbreak for Mac OS, also for the Windows user, and that I have explained each and everything related to this Bell Rain jailbreak in detail. So if you want to watch those videos, check out the description link. Now in the latest new update, they have added the iOS 16 support with a new Bell Rain loader. So now you you can directly install the Pelrin jailbreak from its loader. Previously, it was installed by the Tips app, but now you have a dedicated loader app. Also, in this new version, they have added the support of the different package managers. Like many of you users are asking me, like how you can get the Cydia on the Pelrin jailbreak. So now you can easily get the Cydia and install it. Also, you can install the Zebra, and the default loader is the Celio, so you can install that also. All right, for this process, I will use the Mac. But if you are a Windows user, you can watch this guide that will help you to install from the windows as well all right now previously if you install this spell rain folder i mean if you have downloaded this from their github page from my steps and you want to update to the latest version you don't have to download the folder again and again you just need to use the git pull command from your terminal inside that pelrin folder and after that all the latest changes will be reflect in that folder so you don't have to download again and again all the things so let me just show you how you can do that first open the terminal and give the part inside that pelrin folder so it's very easy you can use the cd command and drag and drop the pelrin folder or you can type manually the desktop location or wherever you have saved the Pelrin folder. Now once you are at the right path in the Pelrin folder, just type git give space and pull. It will install the all the latest changes from its repository and download inside that folder. So it will just override the changes. So it will not download the whole folder again and again. So it will save your time and your internet also. And if you face the git command not found and other errors, make sure you have installed all the required dependency before using this. So just watch this macOS video in that I've explained each and everything in detail like how you can install all the dependencies step by step. So now it's done. So I recommend you to use this git pull command every time in the terminal so that you will get all the latest changes from the github page as the latest bugs and report were found every time the new iOS version will be released. So it's better to update the required packages and then install with the latest version. And if you remember the last time I have gave this command file link in that I have written all these commands that are important for this video. Also I have mentioned what are the devices that are supported and all the commands and important information regarding this spell range jailbreak are inside this readme file so you can download it from my blog all right now the pelrin jailbreak comes in a two mode one is a semi threaded mode and other one is a threaded mode the difference is that the semi threaded mode create a fake root fs storage into your device while jailbreaking make sure your device is on the 16 gigs or above variant if you have a lower variant don't use a semi threaded mode instead you can use a threaded mode for the lower end devices but in the threaded mode if you reboot the device you need a system again to run the pelrin jailbreak command again in order to boot your device so that's the limitation of the tethered mode now if you are a new viewer and don't know about this pelrin folder like how to download from the starting first go to the desktop by the cd desktop and after that give the git clone space and give the pelrin directory command i will put all the command inside that readme file so you can copy one by one and paste it and after that you will get this kind of folder so now i'm all set and ready to install the pelrin jailbreak so let me just connect my device Alright now I am on my iPhone 8 that is currently running on the latest iOS 16.2 at the moment. For the A11 and A10 device you need to turn off your passcode or touch ID or face ID. After that you can proceed for the jailbreak as the SAP is currently not supported for the A10 and A11 devices. Now just enter the Pelrain jailbreak command that is the dot slash Pelrain dot sh space hyphen hyphen tweaks space your ios version and after that you can proceed with a semi tethered or a tethered option but remember that if you use a normal tethered mode if you reboot your device after the jailbreak your jailbreak will be removed and your device will stuck on the recovery mode 
and to fix that you need a system again and rerun the pelrin command in order to complete the jailbreak after that your device will be boot again but if you use a semi tethered mode if you reboot the device the jailbreak will be removed but your device work normal after the reboot also so keep all these points in your mind before using any mode after that put your device into the dfu mode and run that command now just wait for it to get complete Alright in between the process the terminal will say like this your device will reboot automatically and go into the recovery mode screen if your device will show black screen and it will not go in the recovery mode directly just force restart your iphone and then it will directly go into the recovery mode so the force restart button might be different as per your model so now you can see i'm on the recovery mode screen and the terminal will process further so now you need to put your device into the dfu mode and then press any key to continue so now you can see it start processing so wait for it to get complete so now the device is in the dfu screen and the terminal also detected the device now it start finally booting your device and you will see some ram disk and the checkmate code on your iphone or ipad screen so you will see it's the final step after that the jailbreak will done so just wait for it to get complete it will take around 2 3 minutes to boot up so now you can see this is the booting screen all right now the jailbreak is done and you will see the done message on your terminal and your device will on again now open your device after that wait for 5 to 10 second it will take the quick respring and after that you will see the pelrin loader on your home screen so the quick respring after the 10 to 15 second after your device will boot up so just wait for it to get complete so now you can see the quick race ping is there now you will see the palrin loader on your home screen so open it so now here is the latest palrin loader and you can see i'm on the latest 16.2 and my device is successfully jailbroken and in the tool you will see the ui catch clear remount demons and respring option and active tweaks and do all and if you go down you will see the different package manager like celio cedia and zebra by default it's celio you can install the cedia also so first let me just install the default celio package manager after the quick respring you will see the celio on your home screen now i recommend you to use the celio rather than the cedia as the celio is a modern package manager that have the good support of tweaks and framework and it's more fast and responsive and if you want to use the cedia you can use that but it's now it's too old and there are some tweaks that are broken on the cedia also and it not feels that fast as per the celio so you can install as per your requirement after that click on install and it will turn but keep that in mind that don't use the celio cedia and zebra all three at same time and install because it will create the issues with the tweaks and the device after the jailbreak so only install the one package manager at a time after the jailbreak and if you want to install the other package manager first remove the palrin jailbreak completely and after that you can install so now i will just show you how you can install cedia so select the cedia from the tools and click on install and that's it you will see the cedia on your home screen now open the cedia or celio and update all the required packages and library and that's all you are ready to use your device with the tweaks that support the pell range jailbreak for ios 15 and 16 if you don't know which tweaks are supported with this pell range jailbreak you can check out the official github page list of the supported tweaks and then you can install as all the tweaks are not supported so you can check the list and then install so that is all for this video i hope you gain some knowledge through my video if yes then hit the like button and if you're new here subscribe to the channel for more cool updates i will see you in the next video so till then goodbye take care and peace out